all over the place y'all tune in y'all come in from the for you page i know y'all see me on your for you page make sure y'all come in come join me we have an uncomfortable conversation right now for my mess line identify lesbians we need to have this uncomfortable conversation yet again You won't keep it. Ah, uh, yo, 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 what's good, everybody? You're now tuned into your podcast with your girl, Need Baby. Make sure you hashtag for you page so we can get some people on here. Preferably my masculine identified lesbians. It's time for us to have an uncomfortable conversation. Okay. Make sure you shout yourself out if you have any questions or comments so that way I know how to clearly pronunciate your name or pronunciate, pronounce your name on my live stream. You know what I'm talking about? So, um, I wanted to discuss some points and some key factors when it comes to the LGBT community and when it comes to the masculine identified lesbians of the LGBT community. It was a video that I stumbled across last night while I was scrolling on TikTok before I got in the shower. And the video was this masculine identified lesbian. She's a black lesbian, um, black stud. Um, she posted a video about her and her relationship with her girlfriend, they brought a baby into this world. She was raising the young man. Um, and then I, when they broke up, she took the baby away from the stud. So we always know that that's a common thing to happen in the masculine identified lesbian community. When you're talking about studs and kids, that's a big thing. But it was so many comments that brought that, that brung light to this whole discussion today. Please feel free. The first comment that I read was, this is something that is not talked about in our community. The next comment I read, it was several of these. The next comment I read was, masculine identified lesbians need to learn that those are not their kids. Let the men take care of them kids. And then the next comment I read was, masculine identified lesbians should have their own children if they don't want to have to deal with this. First key point I want to talk about. We do not discuss these things in the masculine identified lesbian community or in the LGBT community because it is laughed about. It is joked. It is talked about. So meaning that people down talk somebody who is raising a child. Somebody will down talk you for raising that baby. But what we don't put in consideration is that child. What we don't think about is that child. Neither party thinks about that child. When you are in a new relationship and you're taking care of a child from another relationship, if you are dealing with someone who's telling you that you're just going to go back and forth with your baby mama, it is bigger than that. It is bigger than that. And I told people, I said, um, I said, I dealt with the same situation. I was with, I raised five children that I no longer have access for, which is another key point. If you are a masculine identified lesbian and you have any access to your child and you're raising a child, make sure you have paperwork on that child. Go to court, get it notarized, type something up, get you a family lawyer, let them know that in writing and in court that you have legal custody and guardianship of that child. If you do not have any legal custody or guardianship of that child, that is not your child. Child. You have no rights over that child. You have no say so over that child. If you are not married legally, that is not your child. We can talk about all the rights, but we don't have uncomfortable conversations because masculine identified lesbians are afraid to talk about the real shit in our community. Yes, we fall in love with straight women. Yes, we fall in love with these kids. Yes, we put in consideration that if we get in a new relationship that this woman is going to be jealous and this woman is going to take that child and this woman is not going to think about that child. But those are... The things that we do, I'm sorry, those are the things that we do in this community and we don't talk about it. Masculine identified lesbians will down each other for somebody going to get a pep smear. We are women. If you have a menstrual period, you are a woman. If you are a menstrual period, if you have a menstrual period, you are a woman. If you have a vagina, you should go get your annual checkup each year. If you feel like you are not feminine enough to do that, then something is literally wrong with you. You don't know what's going on in your inside, so therefore you can have anything wrong with you and anything... If you allow a woman to go down on you with a dirty mouth, this is something we don't also discuss in the LGBT community. People don't brush their teeth and clean their tongues when they're going down on you. You got cigarette stains on your coochie. You got Newport stains on you. You got black and mild stains. You got blunt stains. Ain't nobody going in there to gargle and, and spit and do what they got to do before they end up doing it. But you end up doing it. Fem, feminine women in the LGBT community 
will downplay and down talk their insecurity by saying, you just want to be back with your baby mama. You just want your baby mama. You just want your ex. Why not you being a woman and being like, listen, if you want to be in this child life, get you some legal, legal ship, get you some parent and guardianship. I'm going to help you. I'm going to walk you through this. We're going to go to the courts and we're going to, we're going to co-parent and we're going to understand how we're going to get through this. A lot of women don't do that because they're too busy putting their insecurities on that masculine identified lesbian saying what it is and not taking in consideration of the child. But you want somebody to take care of your child. You so want somebody to do something for your child. You want somebody to play house with your child. But soon as y'all do the same thing and that masculine identified lesbian is now attached to your child and you leave that masculine identified lesbian, you're causing the abandonment effect. How many children that has been raised by masculine identified lesbians that no longer know who that masculine identified lesbian because of the abandonment effect? When you all argue, when you all take sides, and it's always one side. If that child is the one who affect who's affected the most, not y'all. Y'all feelings just hurt. Not y'all. Y'all emotions just in, in, in an uproar. Not y'all. It's that baby. And another thing, and I want to talk about in the key point in this whole discussion. Masculine identified lesbians are afraid to have their own children. Some of them, let me, let me put that on. Some masculine identified lesbians are afraid to have their own children. Why? Because masculine identified lesbians have this thing to where they think they are men and then get mad when a man say, oh, you want to be me. That's because you're not understanding. You still have a womb. You can still carry your own child if you want to. If it's that serious for you, why won't you do it yourself? We don't have uncomfortable conversations like this because it is always a deal for masculine identified lesbians to not be feminine for not knowing about their feminine side, not being engaged with their feminine side. Oh, nobody finna poke me. Ain't nobody finna strap me. Ain't nobody finna do this to me. I ain't laying down. It's so many ways you can conceive, but yet again, you don't understand the different ways about life. You are still a woman you can create unless you're going out here and unless you're getting a sex change and you're now a trans man or a trans woman, that's a whole different story. But if you bleed every month, if you have a vagina and you, you do vagina shit, you are a woman. Why, like, so what is the whole big deal about everything? And when we talk about masculine identified lesbians and raising children, why aren't we talking about the feminine women along in the LGBT community that stops and hinders a lot of stuff? Why aren't we talking about the mothers who are taking the children? Why aren't we talking to them? Why aren't we talking about them? Why aren't we bringing it up? Why aren't we dealing with people who have insecurities and not dealing with their insecurities? Why aren't we having these uncomfortable conversations in our LGBT community? Why? Because everything is is now gay the peanut butter and jelly sandwich is gay bread is gay every tv show every cartoon you see gay 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 books gay this gay that you want y'all want all this gay rights for all this other shit when it's in the black gay community that we don't have these uncomfortable conversations and we don't fix these issues what about the children we already went through that how many how many men your mother went through how many dudes you see your mom in a relationship with how many how many women did, was your father with Come on now, we, we can talk about it. How many times did you feel abandoned by somebody you appreciated and somebody that you grew to love? Let's talk about it. Y'all don't want to have these uncomfortable conversations, but y'all got so many opinions. Y'all got so many thoughts that y'all put on people's comments. That y'all go, y'all be under these people videos. I'm talking about inserting, projecting, 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 projecting. All I see on the daily on social media is different lesbians, different masculine identified lesbians, different female lesbians on this app projecting their insecurities, emotions, and feelings, and what they're going to talk about your story. Talk about your story. Talk about what you've been through. But be an adult and say, what about the children? Sit down. And this is what got me. I was, I was that masculine identified lesbian. I love straight women. You couldn't keep me from straight women. I was, oh, you gonna have my baby? Yeah, she gonna lay down, do what she gotta do. Next thing you know, she pregnant, I'm taking care of baby. Boom, five kids I took care of. Got one name still tatted on me right now. Five kids I took care of. And I got with my wife at the last, the last one I still was holding on to. And my wife told me, she said, babe, she said, I can tell that you love this child and I want to love him too, but we have to have some legal rights to him. So that way you're not going back and forth. I had a black woman. See, I ain't never had no, every woman that I had ever been with was like, oh, one woman told me, she said, I'm not going to be with nobody who's dealing with no baby mamas. I'm not dealing with no baby mama drama. I'm not dealing with no kids. I don't even want kids for real, but I do. Then I had another woman say, I'm not, I'm not, I don't even like that bitch like that. So why would I help you take care of her kid? And, but you want me to take care of yours. And he came first. Okay. And then three, we had so many women doing all these things, but none of them paid attention to the child.
And I got with my wife and she told me that and it made me feel good on the inside because she wanted to get to know him. She got to know him. She bought him things, spent time with him and talked the little dude how to talk. He was saying full sentences with her. With us, it was just popcorn. Nene, popcorn. Grandma, Nene, popcorn, mama, pop. He ain't say uh, no shit other than popcorn, Nene, mama, popcorn, Nene, mama. When he met my wife, it was Ashley, Nene, may I have, can I have, I want this, I want that, I want Spider-Man. He was saying full fucking words. I was in the me and my sister and my mom was like, what the fuck, where, where's this young man come from? We didn't know where he came from. He started being a whole new man. And because of jealousy and not wanting to co-parent properly, he was taken away from me. Yet again, it was nothing I can do about it because I had no paperwork. I had no say so. I had no guardianship. I had no parentship. I had nothing. Nothing. But understand and understand this. If you are hurt, that baby is hurting 10 times worse. You know how to get up. You know how to get through and grow through and get over it. Children don't. We have to teach them that. We are teaching them about abandonment early in the LGBT community, a community that's supposed to be happy and gay as fuck. A community that's supposed to be full of rainbows and lucky charms, hard stars and horseshoes and clovers and blue moons. We got children in our community that are committing suicide every day. We have children in our community that are afraid to go to school because of constant bullying, because we are not creating proper safe spaces for them. We have children afraid to be with people and afraid to open up because of what they're dealing with at home. They have seen so many people walk in and out of their lives. They are tired. These children are tired. So just believe if you are tired, they are more tired. They even multi. But masculine identified lesbians, we worry about so much other shit. We worry about our locks being locked up and good, retwisted. We worry about new haircuts. We worry about Jordans and retros and this part and looking good and smelling good and going out and going to the hookah bar and showing our ass. We worry about being with this bitch and this bitch. We worry about doing story times. We worry about all this other shit. But what's really going on in the LGBT community when it comes to the black people? We worried about, oh, you can't call yourself a stud that is only for the blacks. You can't. It's so much going on when we don't even know how to properly take care of our our whole selves as women as masculine identified women y'all not going to get an annual coochie checkup now are you how many of y'all are how many of y'all have y'all not out here making sure you got more than one bra supporting them titties huh got holes all in and titties hanging down to your belly button how many of us do that okay you're worried about a pack of newports and an a for weed but you're not worried about taking care of yourself properly making sure that you got the proper needs in your home the proper necessities in your car make sure you got everything you need to get to where you're going because yeah at the end of the day you're still a woman we don't talk about these things because it's uncomfortable we don't discuss uncomfortable matters in the black community, in the straight heterosexual community. We don't talk about it in the gay community. We don't talk about it at all because being uncomfortable is uneasy for us. And because I'm uncomfortable, I don't want to deal with it. Because I'm uncomfortable, I'm going to walk away from it. Because I'm uncomfortable, I don't want to hear what you have to say. Because I'm uncomfortable and I never heard that before and I never learned that before, I can't learn it from you. Because I'm uncomfortable. But y'all don't understand, understand, and overstand that being uncomfortable can make you comfortable. You disagree with people every day besides hearing them out. You argue with people every day besides listening to the point that they're trying to make. So that way you can make your value point. We are not worried about humanity coming together. We're worried about it always being black and white. We're worried about repeating what our ancestors went through. We're worried about worrying about what, what has already been done. We have so many documentaries, so many stories about the black people and the slaves and this, that, and the third. But they don't talk to you about some of us not really being indigenous to this land. We don't talk about how some of us was already on this land. The land was taken from us. A lot of, a lot of us have not been deported and exported. A lot of our ancestors didn't come from Africa. A lot of our ancestors started out here. But we don't talk about that, now do we? Because it's uncomfortable. Anything that makes an uncomfortable person comfortable is something good because that means you're learning. You're getting something from it. You're you getting educated from something you ain't never heard before. And as a black masculine identified lesbian, I want to let you all know that just today that's listening all around the world. Masculine identified lesbians, if you are a black masculine identified lesbian, learn, research. You are a woman. Know who you are. You have more power than you believe. 
if you are a masculine identified lesbian and you are out here you're dealing with the troubles of going back and forth trying to raise a child go get your paperwork type it up yourself go get it notarized take it to a family court and have them know let them know Sh give them receipts keep your receipts every diaper every wipe every bottle you done bought every pair of clothes every pair of shoes every gas tank you trip you had to fill up to drop that baby off at daycare every daycare expense you done paid for make sure you have documentation and make sure you take it to the court and get your legal rights to that child and hush everybody up for all my masculine identified lesbians who are afraid to lay down and afraid to get themselves impregnated you can do it at home you can do ivf you can go to the doctor you do not have to lay down with no man there's so many ways that we done figured out as a whole as an lgbt community how to get ourselves pregnant how to do it how to be right how to do it do it i did it i experienced it although i had a miscarriage it was something that me and my wife had to go through and it was something that i wanted to experience for myself because i got tired i was one of the ones that was tired of taking care of children and tired of them being taken away from me i was one of the ones that was tired i wanted my kids i wanted to have them with me i wanted to have a life i wanted to have a family when i got married that's all i wanted so for me and my wife we did it together and i had to understand and understand and understand that any woman that can come to you and say hey that might not be my child i might not give birth to that child but if it means anything to you i want it to mean so much to me let's go do what we have to do and for my black women please understand stick by your masculine identify lesbians especially if you got a good one Talk them through it. Walk them through it. Get them through it. If you're dealing with somebody who just don't know, a lot of masculine identified lesbians just don't know. And they don't know because they're dealing with women who don't give a fuck. So if you're in a relationship and you're taking care of your wife and your wife is taking care of you or your girlfriend is taking care of you and you're taking care of your girlfriend and it's a 50-50, allow her to go set up the doctor's appointments. Go up there with her. Let her know she's not alone. Sit in the room with her. Let her know she's not alone. Allow us to understand we have to take our power back. We have to be healthy. Get your mammograms. Check on yourselves. Be healthy. You don't want to be older and the next thing you know you pass away and they don't know what happened to you because you never went and got yourself checked up. You never went and got yourself checked out. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference between all of us right now today. I want to open my arms and open my room to all y'all. Y'all want to be stud bros so bad. Y'all want somebody to be your friend so bad when you need to be your friend. You need to heal you. You need to think about what it is that you've been doing wrong to get yourself together. I'm open up to love on all y'all like y'all been loving on me and supporting me through all these times. But it's time for us to get this LGBT community together together when it comes to our black masculine identified lesbians our black feminine lesbians in the community we need to do better by each other we need to respect one each other, one another we need to be there for one another we need to have each other backs if something's going wrong talk about it discuss it it's too many suicides going on right now talk about it discuss it open up use your voice everybody has a story to tell and it's time for you to tell your story use your voice you never know who you might help you never know who you might encounter that you might have been a blessing to you may never know who you might stop from doing anything tell your story tell your testimony speak up now forever hold your peace but i'm telling you right now the masculine identified lesbians we need to be more respectful to one another we need to love on one another it's not always a fight it's not always a battle it's not always a competition it's about love it's about unity it's about forgiveness we gay motherfucker we gay love and happiness frankie lyman said oh 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 he said the birds was gay we supposed to be gay like the birds and the birds be up to the tweet 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 all day, every day. I'm your girl, Nee Baby. Thank y'all for tuning in to your podcast. Make sure y'all stream your podcast on all Apple platforms, Apple Podcasts, and Spotify pl uh, platforms, as well as the Anchor app. I love y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in and listening. I am out.